uh, first of all, um, so there's an important fundamental concept that, that no one else besides us has have even tried to implement, which we are implementing in IABO. And the, that, the, that is that to properly, optim, optimally manage the pain, we need to know what the pain is. Okay. So in a way, the current standard treatment is the patient goes to the doctor and says, I have pain. The doctor says, how much pain do you have? And it says, ah, six out of 10. Okay, take these drugs and go home. Now, three months later, the patient comes back and says, how much pain do you have now? Uh, four out of 10. Wonderful. The drugs are working. Just continue doing that. So anyway, there's this huge disconnect between the everyday continuous suffering that the patient has and the clinical uh, oversight. They, they just don't mesh up, right? And our, our research shows that in back pain patients, the pain can go up or down in seconds in a huge amount, okay? So, and of course, any uh, uh, chronic pain patient knows that Sometimes in the morning, it's, it's really bad, and in the afternoon, it gets better. And sometimes in, in the afternoon, it's really bad, and in the, in the morning, it gets better. There are these huge fluctuations. Pain goes up and down. They, they, they are not really correlated with anything that they can identify. They're constantly fighting this, what is causing my pain? What is not causing my pain? How do I minimize my pain, so if people walk in a funny ways to protect their backs, people stop talking to other people. And so they create all these algorithms, none of which are obviously based on real, um, you know, uh, science. And they're just, they're just an effort to identify how to cope with it, right? So as a result, and and in a way, we have implemented some of these things in my lab over the last six, seven, almost 10 years now of actually having patients report their pain every day, multiple times a day. Okay, So that's a very simple thing. It takes about less than a minute to, to do that. And that immediately gives us uh, information of where that patient is that day in their state of beingness of pain. And, and that sort of gives us like a continuous monitoring of their state in relation to any and all other information that we may gather about them. So we can continuously use that type of information to say what parameters can decrease this pain and what parameters do not work. So instantly we have ongoing continuous modeling of that individual. Okay? And so that's one very simple fundamental approach that, that we are implementing in, in IO that I think will change the way uh, the, the patient views their pain. First of all, there is a simple comfort that someone is looking out to their pain and charting how that thing is, is, is being modulated in relation to their everyday behavior. And that then giving you feedback to the patient saying you did this and therefore your pain went up, you did that and therefore your pain went down and let's try not doing this and let's try doing that. So very simply, this is the overall philosophy of IVO. Tracking continuously the pain and optimizing and decreasing the amplification associated with your emotional responses to your environment. There's another important part of this. The second important part is that uh, since Pavlov, Pavlov was one of the first Nobel Prizes in physiology back in 1910, right? Pavlov was one of the first physiologists to show that in fact, a single painful event creates a memory that does not erase for the rest of life. So the best learning method in, in, the, in the brain is pain. And that's again, evolutionarily very important. When, uh, when the lion bites you once, you want to remember that, that lion for the rest of your life and avoid it. Right? If you don't do that, 
the second time you'll be dead. So it's, so it's a fundamental survival value. Now, if we think of that from the viewpoint of chronic pain, it becomes a complete pathological state because now, you know, you walk into your bedroom and your back pain is, is high. So even though you know the two have nothing to do with each other, subconsciously, emotionally, you have created the association between your room and your back, and that memory will reinforce your back pain for the rest of your life. So, so in that sense, this is the other thing that we want to fight against, right? This is the learning process that we need to unlearn in a way. So there's a lot of unlearning that, that we need to, to, to provide to the patient. And that unlearning simply dissociates their emotional interpretation of their environment with their pain. It's very simple. 